Hi there, I'm Erin with Five Parks Yoga. I'm so glad you could make it to your mat today and join me for yoga. Today's class is going to be a mandala flow class. This is a highly and constantly requested class, so I'm here to deliver. Thank you so much uh, to my YouTube members and subscribers and to my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for supporting Five Parks Yoga. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to my channel. You'll get constant updates on new classes and other things going on in the Five Perks Yoga world. And if you like this class, hit the thumbs up icon and don't forget to make comments and class requests below. All right, we are going to start in a seated position today because I don't want to move Rindo out of the way yet. So you can go ahead and bring your hands face down or face up on your knees. You're going to want to reach up through the crown of your head so that your head is in line with your shoulders and your shoulders are in line with your hips so that you're not slouching or rounding. And then you're going to draw your shoulders down away from your ears. So you can do like a big shoulder roll. And if you feel steady and confident and balanced, go ahead and close your eyes empty out all of your air and we're going to start with some deep breathing. <clears throat> so breathe in through your nose and hold it at the top. And exhale through your mouth. Close your lips, begin to breathe in and out through your nose. As you begin to connect with your breathing, the rhythm, the length, and duration, pause at the top of your inhales and pause at the bottom of your exhales. So as you continue to cultivate that breath, try to make each inhale and each exhale a little bit longer than the one before it. And you can gently constrict the back of your throat, making your breath audible to yourself. So this is called Ujjayi Pranayama. Your breathing is going to be your guide through our flow practice. I'll be cueing your breaths as we move through the practice. The breathing is a practice. So if it's difficult in moments, that's okay. We're just working toward linking our breath to our movement throughout our practice. When your breath is audible, that can help you with your breathing practice connected to your movement practice. So let's take three more deep breaths here in this seated position. Listen to the monkeys in the background. If your eyes are closed, go ahead and open your eyes. So we're going to begin by warming up the wrists. So go ahead and take your hands, interlace your fingers out in front of you, and then just draw a couple of circles in one direction and a couple of circles in the opposite direction. And then from here, just stretching, go ahead and face your palms forward, stretch your arms long. So you're stretching the bottoms of your hands and your fingers. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears and then lift your arms up overhead. From here, keeping your hands as they are, we're gonna side bend to the left. Try to keep your left shoulder or your right shoulder in line with your right hip. Come back to center and then side bend to your right. Try to keep your left shoulder in line with your left hip, keep your sitting bones on the floor. Come back to center, release your hands, and then just go ahead and bring them in front of you and shake them out. Shaking out your fingers, shaking out your wrists. And then you can take your hands and interlace them behind your back. Nice tight squeeze here, press your fists down, reach up through the crown of your head, and then you can hinge forward from your hips. So stretching your chest and your shoulders.
on your next breath in. Come all the way back up, release your hands, and then just sweep your arms up overhead. And then let's take a twist here. So bring your right hand to your left knee, your left hand out behind. Look out over your shoulder, keeping your shoulders stacked over your hips. So you're just twisting in your torso. Come back to center, reaching both arms up overhead and twist in the opposite direction, bringing your left hand to your right knee, your right hand out behind. Look out over your shoulder. On your next breath in, come back to center, reaching your arms up overhead, and then go ahead and make your way to tabletop position. So rolling over your knees, placing your shoulders over your, hand, your wrists and your hips over your knees, and then breathing in, dropping your belly for cow pose. And as you breathe out through your nose, round your spine for cat pose. Keep going. Listen to the sound of your breath. One more round. Come back to tabletop position. Let's warm up the feet and the feet and the ankles and the toes. So tuck your toes under. Bring your hips back towards your heels. Walk your hands back. Bring your hands to your knees. Sit up tall. This is toes pose. We're not going to hold it for long. So just three breaths here. You can close your eyes if you want. Listen to the sound of your breath as it travels in and out through your nose. One more breath here. Release from toes pose, come back to tabletop posi position, and then just gently shake out your feet. Just taking the tops of your feet and pounding them on your mat. And then from here, go ahead and keep your knees as they are. Walk your hands off to the left. From here, just bump your hips to the right and look towards your left foot, stretching your side, and then walk your hands back through center, off to the right, bump your hips to the left, look toward your right toes, come back to center, Bring your knees to the outer edges of your mat. Bring your toes to touch. Bring your hips to your heels. Walk your hands forward, extended child's pose. Rest your forehead down on your mat. Listen to the sound of your breath. It should be more audible here as your face is closer to the floor. Make it really loud. One more inhale and exhale here. Keep your right arm extended. Bring your left arm underneath your right, stretching the back side of your left shoulder. Bring your left ear to your mat. Breathe in and out. Extend your left arm long on your mat. Slide your right arm underneath your left. Come onto your right shoulder and your right ear. Breathe in. And out. Extend your right arm long. Press your hips back once more. Your next posture is downward facing dog. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips up, release your heels down. Look back toward the back of your mat. Take any movements that feel good here. You can pedal out your legs, shake out your head, sway your hips side to side. Continue deep breathing in and out through your nose. Come back to a static downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your right leg up, open your hip, bend your leg. Hold here for one full inhale and exhale. Straighten out your leg, 
level off your hips. Bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Wide-legged low lunge. Right away, take your toes out to a 45 degree angle. Bring your right arm straight back, reaching your right fingertips to your left foot as you roll to the outer side of your left foot. We're gonna be doing this posture a lot during class. This is called lounging lizard. Sometimes it takes a quick second to figure out. Big twist in your spine. All right, now make your way back to wide-legged low lunge. From here, you're gonna step your left foot to the outer edge of your mat and come into malasana. So a nice deep squat to open up your low back, your inner thighs, and your hips. Elbows are gently pressing the knees. Hands are at heart center. Breathe in. Breathe out. Bring your hands down towards your mat. Begin to straighten your legs. <clears throat> On your next breath in, sweep your arms all the way up above your head. As you exhale, bring your, the palms of your hands together, come into just a nice gentle squat, so not a deep squat. You're gonna circle your hands down through heart center, rise up, reach up again. And as you exhale, you're going to take your heels behind your toes, come halfway down, bring your arms off to capital T, palms face down. So nice flat back here. As you breathe in, <clears throat> bring the palms of your hands to touch above the crown of your head. And then as you exhale, <clears throat> excuse me, you're just gonna flop down. So you're dangling your head. Let gravity do its work to open up the back side of your body. Your hamstrings are starting to stretch open, but your knees are relaxed, so there's not too much strain here. All right, on your next breath in, take your toes out to an angle. Begin to straighten through your legs. Sweep your arms up, so we're gonna go a little bit faster here. Bring the palms of your hands to touch above your head. Little squat, hands travel through heart center, sweep them around and up. Bring your heels behind your toes, come halfway down, capital T with your arms. Breathe in, bring your arms above your head, or connect the palms of your hands, and then gentle body flop. That's a nice big exhale there. All right, bring your toes out to an angle, straighten through your legs, sweep your arms up, Connect the palms of your hands above your head. Little squat, circle your arms through heart center, down and around, rise up. Bring your heels behind your toes, come halfway down, palms face down. Breathe in, connect the palms of your hands above the crown of your head, and gentle body flop. All right, now, plant your hands right below your shoulders, step back to high plank pose. Cross your right ankle over your left and then begin to rock back and forth. So you're stretching out your calf muscle here, warming up your toes for some chaturangas a little bit later. And then we're gonna switch sides. So uncross your ankles, cross your left ankle over your right and then rock back and forth, back and forth. Stretching the calf muscle on your right leg. And then you're gonna uncross your ankles, come back to high plank, shift forward on your toes like you already did, and then lower onto your belly. Keep your hands where they are. Take the tops of your feet flat to the floor. As you breathe in, lift your chest up off the floor for baby cobra pose. Hold here, one more breath in, and exhale. Roll back down, tuck your toes under. You can have your knees on or off the floor, press up to high plank pose, and press back to downward facing dog. On your next breath in, lift your left leg high for three-legged dog, open your hip, bend your leg. Hold here for a full round of breath. Straighten your leg, level out your hips come into wide-legged low lunge. So your left foot comes to the outside of your left hand. 
right away we're coming into lounging lizard. So your right hand is your foundation. Sweep your left arm to the left. Come on to the outer edge of your right foot. Reach your fingertips back toward the back of your mat, palm facing out. Releasing your hip down toward the floor so you're getting a nice stretch through your right side. Twist in your spine. Alrighty, come all the way back to wide-legged low lunge. Step your right foot to the outer edge of your mat. Come back to Malasana. Crow squat. Take one full round of breath here. Bring your hands down towards your mat and then begin to straighten both legs and heel toe your feet to touch. On your next breath in, sweep your arms up, sit your hips down for chair pose. Hold here for a full round of breath. Maybe your exhale brings you a little bit deeper into your chair. As you breathe in, come all the way up to mountain pose. As you exhale, tall mountain pose, cactus your arms, open up your chest, lift your chin up toward the ceiling. Breathe in, come back to tall mountain pose. And as you breathe out, come all the way to standing forward fold. Come up to a halfway lift as you breathe in and standing forward fold as you breathe out, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Okay, you can come down onto your belly or you can come halfway down for chaturanga. So grazing your elbows to your ribs, come over to the tops of your feet, rise up to upward facing dog, and then press back to downward facing dog. On your next breath in, take your right leg high, step forward, low lunge. Begin to straighten through your right leg for extended pyramid pose, bring your forehead toward your knee. Draw your right hip back, your left hip forward. Take another inhale here. As you exhale, come to low lunge. And then as you inhale, come to standing splits. So you're gonna pick your left foot up off the floor, keep your hips level, drive your heel a little bit closer to the ceiling. As you breathe out, bring your left foot to meet your right so you're in standing forward fold. Breathe in, come up to tall mountain pose. Breathe out, come all the way back to standing forward fold. Breathe in, halfway lift, standing forward fold. Plant your hands, step back, high plank pose. Exhale, shift forward, lower halfway down or all the way down. Upward facing dog as you breathe in. Downward facing dog as you breathe out. Big breath in, lift your left leg up, step forward, low lunge. Straighten through your left leg, bring your forehead toward your left knee. Draw your left hip back, your right hip forward. Take another big inhale here. As you exhale, low lunge. Step onto your left foot, inhale, standing splits. Breathe in. Bring your heel a little bit closer to the ceiling. Exhale, standing forward fold. Right foot meets your left. Breathe in, chair. As you breathe out, come to airplane chair. Sweep your arms back. Breathe in, balance chair. Breathe out, airplane chair, balance. Keep your heels lifted. Breathe in, tall mountain. And come all the way to standing forward fold. Halfway lift, standing forward fold. High plank pose, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take your right leg high, step forward, low lunge. Crescent lunge is your breath in. Airplane crescent is your breath out. So hinge forward 45 degrees. Breathe in, crescent lunge. Breathe out, drop your left knee down, cactus your arms. Breathe in, 
back to Crescent Lunge and make your way to Warrior Two. One full round of breath here. On your next breath in, you're gonna bring your hands to your heart. You're gonna come all the way to Skandasana. So you're just gonna switch off your right leg, come all the way down. You can use your hands on the floor to support you if you'd like. Take one full round of breath here. Now you're gonna rotate to low lunge at the back of your mat. So just hands to your mat. Your right heel lifts up. On your next breath in, come all the way to standing splits. You're gonna take your right leg, travel all the way through so you're in standing staff. Maybe you can do it without touching your foot to the floor. You can have your leg bent or straight. Then we're gonna take standing pigeon. So cross your right ankle over your left knee. Sink down into your hips. So you're getting that chair pose bonus hip stretch. Come all the way back to standing staff with your leg bent or straight. And then sweep your right leg through, maybe without touching the floor, and come into airplane pose. Now, alternative to airplane pose is airplane lunge. Both are awesome poses. Now step back to low lunge and high plank, lower down chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, step forward to low lunge. Eyes up to crescent lunge. Lower your back heel to the floor at an angle so you're in warrior one. Your shoulders and your hips stay square to your mat. Take your hands behind your back, interlace them. Press your fist down, lift your chin up off of your chest, and then hinge forward for humble warrior. We're gonna hold humble warrior for one full round of breath. Breathe in and out. Breathe in, come back to crescent lunge. So peel your heel up off the floor, lift your arms up overhead, and then make your way to warrior two. Five pointed star, heels come in, toes point out, palms face out, circle your arms down and around. Come into prayer squat. Come back up to five pointed star. Warrior two to the front of your mat. Reverse warrior, stretch back, low lunge, high plank, lower down, your choice. Upward dog, downward facing dog. One full round of breath. Lift your left leg up. Step forward, low lunge. Come up to crescent lunge. Shift forward, reach back, airplane lunge. Crescent lunge. Cactus dip. So dip your knee down, cactus your arms. Press up to crescent lunge. Open up to warrior two, planting your heel down, looking out across your front fingertips. One full round of breath. Bring your hands to your heart. You're gonna press off your left foot. Come to Skandasana at the back of your mat. Complete your exhale. And then make your way to low lunge, facing the back of your mat. From low lunge, you're gonna step forward to standing staff. So take all of your weight onto your right foot. Bring your left leg. To 90 or straight, reaching your arms up overhead, and then make your way to standing pigeon pose, crossing your left ankle over your right knee, sitting down in your chair, stretching your hip and glute, working on balance and focus. Release from standing pigeon nice and slow, returning to staff pose. 
from staff come into airplane pose. Nice. And slow. And step back to airplane lunge. Come up to crescent lunge. Plant your left heel down on the floor. Keep your shoulders and your hips facing forward for warrior one, pressing into the outer edge of your back foot. Take your hands behind your back for a chest expansion, moving into humble warrior. So press your fists down, lift your chin, and then bring your right shoulder to the inside of your right knee. Hold here for one inhale and exhale. On your next breath in, come all the way back up, lifting your left heel, releasing your hands, coming into crescent lunge. Warrior two is your breath out. And star. And circle down and around to prayer squat with hands at heart center. Come on back to star. Warrior two to the front of your mat. Reverse warrior. And low lunge. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Lift your right leg high. As you exhale, bring your right knee to your right elbow. Bring your right knee to your right wrist, right elbow, three-legged dog, low lunge, crescent lunge, warrior two, skandasana to the back of your mat, low lunge to the back of your mat on your left leg, and then all the way to lounging lizard, bring your left hand back towards your right foot. Come all the way back to Skandasana. Make your way to the front of your mat on your right leg, Skandasana. And then all the way back to low lunge. So just working on those transitions. Come on up to standing staff. And then to airplane pose, skipping standing pigeon. Breathe in. Airplane lunge, breathe out. Crescent lunge, breathe in. Warrior two, breathe out. Circle down and around, star. Down and around, squat. Star. And standing straddle splits. Halfway lift. Exhale here, keep your right hand on the floor, lift your left arm up, breathe in. And exhale your left hand down to your mat. Breathe in, right arm up. Exhale, bring your right hand to your mat. Bring your toes out to an angle, rise up. To star, warrior two to the front of your mat. Reverse warrior. Extended side angle, right hand to the floor, left arm traveling up and over your left ear, reaching toward the front of your mat. Continue to circle down, lifting your back heel up off the mat and returning to low lunge. Step back, high plank. Make your way back to downward facing dog. Complete your exhale here. Lift your left leg up. Tap your left knee to your left elbow and your left wrist and your left elbow. Three-legged dog. Stretch up and back. Step forward. Low lunge. Eyes up. Crescent lunge. Exhale, warrior two. Bring your hands to your heart. Skandasana to the back of your mat. Low lunge to the back of your mat. 
travel through lounging lizard reaching back toward your left foot all the way back to skandasana working on these transitions with ease and balance to the front of your mat on your left leg to the back of your mat and low lunge rise up standing staff exhale airplane pose breathe in airplane lunge inhale crescent lunge exhale warrior two circle down and around inhale star down and around prayer squat inhale star exhale heels behind toes standing straddle splits halfway lift walk your hands forward press your hips back wide legged downward dog breathe in and out walk your hands back so they're underneath your shoulders come on back up to five pointed star warrior two reverse warrior extended side angle so you know where we're going we're gonna make it a smooth transition so your right arm is traveling forward right bicep by right ear traveling forward as it reaches your mat your back heel lifts step back high plank lower chaturanga upward facing dog downward facing dog breathe in and out lift your right leg up so we're using this as a foundation but i'm going to change it a little bit every single time this time take your right knee to your left elbow and your left wrist and your left elbow and three-legged dog low lunge crescent lunge warrior two just circle your hands down as you come to skandasana at the back of your mat low lunge to the back of your mat lounging lizard and we're just going back to low lunge standing staff airplane airplane lunge flow with your breath nice and steady and smooth crescent lunge warrior two circle it down and around five pointed star and then warrior two back to the front of your mat reverse warrior half moon pose if you don't have half moon in your practice take extended side angle again and then you're going to level out your hips bring your left hand to the floor reach your right arm up so you're in revolved half moon now step your left foot down on your mat and then come up to twisted crescent lunge so your right hand reaches back your left hand reaches forward your torso is twisted circle your right arm down and around you're returning to crescent lunge and then exhale low lunge high plank make your way back to downward facing dog take one full round of breath lift your left leg up left knee right elbow so you're twisting across your body right wrist right elbow three-legged dog low lunge crescent lunge warrior two bring your hands to heart center as you come into a side lunge at the back of your mat low lunge at the back of your mat traveling to lounging lizard reaching back looking back returning to low lunge crescent lunge airplane standing staff airplane lunge might have done that backwards but that's okay crescent lunge <laughs> warrior two 
star. Squat. Star. Warrior two. Okay, we're preparing for half moon pose or side angle pose. So reverse warrior coming into half moon, stepping onto your left foot, reaching your right arm up, opening up to the side. Bring your right hip to meet your left, your right hand to the floor. Lift your left arm up so you're in revolved half moon. Gently step your right foot back. Come up to revolved crescent. Right arm reaching forward, left arm reaching back, and then you're gonna circle your left arm down. Come all the way up, crescent lunge. Release, low lunge. Make your way back to downward facing dog. We're gonna meet in downward facing dog. Once you're there, make your way, uh, or sorry, walk your hands to your feet. Bring your feet to touch. Bring your knees wide and squat down. So your the balls of your feet are touching, the heels of your feet are touching, you're balancing on your toes, and then maybe you can try to bring your hands to your heart bringing the crown of your head in line with your shoulders, in line with your hips. So really working the feet and ankles here, getting a nice stretch in your inner thighs. Bring your hands back to your mat. Walk your hands forward, separate your feet. High plank pose, lower chaturanga, upward facing dog downward facing dog. Lift your right leg up, open your hip, bend your leg, option to flip. Maybe tapping your toe to the floor, reaching back. Okay, from here, you're gonna bring your right hand back to your mat and bring your left leg through to the outside of your left hand and reach up to falling triangle. Bring your left hand back to your mat. Peel your left heel up off your mat. Come back to three-legged dog. Step forward, low lunge. Come on up to crescent lunge. Warrior two. Okay, we're making a smooth, steady flow. Hands to your heart, skandasana. Smooth and steady. Low lunge to lounging lizard. Low lunge to crescent. Airplane pose. Standing staff. Bring your left hand to your left hip. Take your right peace fingers around your right big toe. Take hold of it, stretch your right leg forward. You can just continue to hold staff if this isn't in your practice. Bring your right leg to the right, your left hand to the left, and then just circle back all the way to airplane lunge. So you're setting your right foot down on your mat. Crescent lunge is your breath in. Warrior two is your breath out. Star is your breath in, and warrior two is your breath out. Reverse warrior, half moon. Exhale, bring your left hand to your mat or the floor, level your hips, breathe in, right arm up, breathe out, twisting crescent, circle your right arm down and around, come to crescent lunge, and then exhale all the way down to low lunge. Step back, high plank. Upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Breathe in and out. Lift your left leg up, open your hip, bend your legs. Option, flip your dog.
Circle your left arm down, placing your left hand on your mat, bringing your left leg through, planting it on the floor. Reach your right arm up for fallen triangle. Breathe in, lift your hips a little bit higher. Breathe out, take your right hand to your mat, lift your heel, left leg lifts as you breathe in for three-legged dog. Exhale, low lunge, crescent lunge. Warrior two, skandasana at the back of your mat. Low lunge to the back of your mat to lounging lizard. All the way back, low lunge. Crescent lunge, airplane. They were preparing for big toe hold. Remember, if big toe come to staff is not in your practice. Just hold staff with your leg bent or straight. Bring your right hand to your right hip, your left piece fingers around your left big toe. Once you have hold of your toe, extend your left leg straight or in that direction, and then option to take your left leg to the left, your right arm to the right, release your toe, keep your foot lifted, and make your way to airplane pose, or sorry, airplane lunge, stepping your left foot down gently. <laughs> my balance on my right side's a little rough. Inhale, crescent. Exhale, warrior two. Circle your arms down and around. Inhale, star. And exhale, warrior two to the front of your mat. Reverse warrior in preparation for half moon pose or side angle pose, balancing on your left foot. Exhale, bring your right hand to your mat. Level your hips. Lift your left arm up. Revolved half moon. Step back. Twisted crescent lunge. And circle your left arm down. Crescent lunge. Circle your arms down. Low lunge. Come on back to downward facing dog. Breathe in. And out. Lift your right leg up. I'm not going to flip this time. Just open your hip, bend your leg, and then sweep your right knee through, right leg through. Come into fallen triangle. Lift up, and then just set your hips down. Lift your arms up for seated straddle splits. Come forward, little active rest here. So hinging from your hips, you can walk your hands forward. Try to keep your spine nice and long. Try to keep your toes and knees pointing up. The tops of your legs are active. One more breath here. If you're hinged forward, walk your hands back up so that your shoulders are over your hips. Bring your right foot to meet your left facing the back of your mat. So this is called seated staff pose. Sit up nice and tall. And then we're moving from seated staff to boat pose. So you can take your hands underneath your thighs, lift your feet up off the floor, extend your arms long, or you can continue to hold on to your thighs. We're moving from boat pose to upward angle. Bring your big, your peace fingers around your big toes, straighten out your legs, and then option to straddle. This is upward angle pose. It's balance, it's core strengthener. Lift your chest, lift your chin, lower your shoulders. And bring your feet back together. Release your toes, extend your arms, roll back one time. You're gonna roll back and forward and maybe 
jump through chaturanga or you can step. Plant your hands, land with your elbows bent. Come up to upward facing dog. Come back to downward facing dog. You should be facing the back of your mat. Lift your right leg high and step forward to low lunge. Come up to crescent lunge. Make your way to twisting crescent. Left arm forward, right arm back. Circle your right arm down and around to crescent to warrior two. Bring your hands to your heart, skandasana. Na to the back, the front of your mat now on your left leg, and then low lunge to the front of your mat. Step your left foot back, maybe keep your left foot lifted up off the floor and come into Ekapada Chaturanga. So one footed Chaturanga up to upward facing dog and back to downward facing dog. Full round of breath here. Lift your left leg up, open your hip, bend your leg. If you want, you can flip your dog. Just be quick about it. <laughs> All right, and then you're gonna bring your right knee through, extend your left leg long, left foot to the outside of your right hand. Reach your right arm up so you're in fallen triangle pose and then continue to fall. So your sitting bones are on the floor. Lift your left arm up and make your way to seated straddle splits forward fold. It's okay if you don't fold forward. If you're sitting upright, just have your hands behind you for support. Or you can walk your hands forward. We're gonna be here for three more full breaths. Keep your toes and your knees facing up. Let each exhale bring you a little bit further into your fold if you're folding. Complete your exhale. Walk your hands back up if they're extended out in front of you. Bring your left foot to meet your right. Take your hands behind your thighs. Come into boat pose, lifting your legs up off the floor, extending your arms long. All right, so this time, after we have this last breath, we're gonna roll back and you're gonna come into crow squat or malasana pose. So when you come forward, bring your feet to the outer edges of your mat and come into a squat. All right, let's do it. So roll back, roll forward, feet wide, come into malasana. I needed to use my hands to get me here and that's just fine. Maybe you can do it without your hands. All right, and we're gonna do our arm balance for today. So come into crow pose. And if you wanna try from crow pose, so bring your toes and heels together, bring your knees to the backs of your arms. So if you wanna try from crow pose, you can try a chaturanga jump back. I'm not gonna do it today, but maybe you can do it. So in chaturata, chaturanga, your jump back, you're gonna land again with bent arms. All right, and then we're all gonna meet back at downward facing dog. So you can jump or step back, lower down, press up to upward facing dog, and back to downward facing dog. And lift your left leg high. Low lunge, crescent lunge, warrior two, hands to your heart, skandasana to the front of your mat. Low lunge to the front of your mat, crescent lunge, twisting crescent, right arm back, left arm forward, circle it down and around, back to crescent, back to low lunge and make your way to downward facing dog. Oh, I forgot to mention on that side, you can try a Chaturanga. So 
leaving one foot lifted as you come into your chaturanga and then back to downward facing dog. Exhale here. Lift your right leg up and bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. So this is kind of where we started here in this wide-legged low lunge, but we're gonna take a different variation. So uh, release your left knee to your mat, top of your foot flat, and then roll onto the outer edge of your right foot. And this time you're gonna press your right hand into your right knee. You're twisting in your torso. You can look down at the floor or up toward the ceiling. Exhale here. And then make your way back to center. Take your hand to your mat. Heel toe your right foot to the left and come into half pigeon pose. Breathe in to lengthen through your spine, lifting your chin up off your chest. As you breathe out, release for one full breath. Breathe in and out. Come back up onto your hands. Sweep your left leg all the way around. So you're in half lotus pose. If half lotus is not accessible to you, you can take your left shin on top of, or onto the floor, lift your arms up overhead, bring your right hand to your left knee, look out over your shoulder. Come back to center. You're gonna take your left foot flat to the floor. Take your hands underneath your left foot, lift it up off the floor for heron pose. Bring your right foot to meet your left. Come into boat, come into low boat, come into boat, come into low boat, come into boat, roll back. You can do a jump through chaturanga or step back. Come into upward facing dog, back to downward facing dog. Complete your exhale. Now, lift your left leg high. Wide-legged low lunge. Take that twist and stretch. Release your right knee down. Top of your foot flat to the floor. Roll onto the outer edge of your left foot. Press your left hand into your left knee. So you're lengthening, stretching, creating space here. You can look back, forward, down, up. Whatever feels comfortable. Take one more breath here. Come back to center. So your left hand comes to the floor and then you can just bring your left shin onto your mat. So you heel toe your left foot across, come into pigeon or half pigeon pose. Lift up through the crown of your head as you breathe in and then release as you breathe out. One full breath here. Come back up. You're gonna bring your right leg around. Come into half lotus pose, bringing your right foot to your left hip or onto the floor. Lift your arms up. Half lotus twist, left hand to right knee, right hand out behind. Complete your exhale, deepen your twist. Unwind from your twist. Bring your right foot to the floor. Interlace your hands around your right foot. Lift your right foot up off the floor for heron pose. Bring your left foot to meet your right. You're gonna release your right foot. Come into boat pose. And low boat. And boat. Low boat. Boat, hold on to your knees, roll back and forward through Chaturanga. 
So those are good to practice if you're working in the direction of a crow jump back. Bring your shins to the floor. Bring your hip, sorry, your shoulders over your hips so you're in a kneeling position. Bring your arms up overhead and bring your right leg to the right. From here, bring your right hand, slide it down your right leg. Circle your left arm down and around in front of your body. Reach it to your left heel. Circle your right arm around. Look back. Circle your right arm in front of your body. Releasing from your back bend, both arms up overhead. Bring your left hand to your mat or the floor for a modified side plank. And then from here, we're gonna bend the right leg. Take hold of your right foot. Press your foot back, open your chest, look up toward the ceiling if that feels okay. Extend your right leg long, lift your right arm up, press off of your left hand, come all the way back up to kneeling. All right, lift your left, or lift your arms up as you extend your left leg to the left. Slide your left hand down your left leg, side bend, reaching your fingers toward the left and then circling them down in front of you, reaching toward your right heel as you sweep your left arm around and back. Sweep your left arm back in front of you as you release from your back bend, reach both arms up overhead, bring your right arm to the right, modified side plank, ding your left leg up off of the floor, bend your left leg, take hold of your foot, press it back, not up, back. Stretch through the front side of your body, you can look up, Extend your left leg to the left, left arm up. Look down, press off of your right hand, all the way back up to kneeling. And then release your arms. Sit your hips back on your heels. Close your eyes, rest your hands on your thighs. Breathe in. Exhale through your nose. Nice, loud breath. And again. And one more time, how quickly can you come back to that steady, long, slow inhale and exhale? It's a good practice to be aware of when you're working with your pranayama. All right, if your eyes are closed, open them. Make your way down onto your back. So just cross over your ankles, sit down. Take your feet flat to the floor and then roll down onto your back. And go ahead and bring your feet to the outer edges of your mat. Bring your arms to goal post and just rock side to side. One more time to each side. Bring your knees to the right, set them down. If you'd like to deepen into this variation of twist, you can take your right foot, place it on your left knee. Just let the weight of your leg and your foot gently press your left knee closer to your mat opportunity for a really nice deep twist and you're really opening up the outer side of your left thigh. Alrighty, if your right foot is on top of your knee, bring it back to your mat and then release your knees to the left option to take your left foot on top of your right knee. Let the weight of your leg gently press your knee, your right knee closer to your mat. Continue to breathe. Now 
and take your left foot back to your mat come back so that your knees are facing the ceiling and then we're going to come into apanasana or knees to chest pose so draw both knees into your chest you can hold on to them just like this with your hands or you can start to wrap your arms around your legs reaching for whatever is accessible squeezing your knees together try not to cross your ankles but keep your feet side by side deep compression for your entire torso really good for your hip flexors All right, relax the grip on your knees. Take your feet flat to the floor. We're just gonna open the hip flexors. We're not gonna hold this. So extend your arms alongside your body, press into your heels and just lift your hips up. So you're just opening up from that deep compression. So you should feel your hip flexors opening. And then you can just set your hips back down on the floor as you roll down on your spine and make your way to Shavasana. So extend your legs long and wide. Extend your arms long and wide. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Come back to the natural rhythm of your breathing. Shavasana, or you can join me in releasing. Wiggle your fingers and your toes, roll your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms up overhead, extend your legs long, point your toes, breathe in. And release. Make your way up to seated, you can roll onto your side first. seated position. When you've arrived, bring your hands to your heart. Breathe in deeply through your nose. Hold it at the top. Exhale through your mouth. Close your lips. Today, as you go forward, may you have peace in your thoughts, peace in your words, peace in your heart, from my heart to each and every one of yours, namaste.